guys, it is Wednesday wardrobing. I'm gonna turn this light up a little bit. How's everybody doing tonight? It's good to see you. I'll take my glasses off so you don't have to look at the glare of that. Um, so we have been in our October Wednesday wardrobing uh, series, which is all about maximizing your closet. So last week we talked about buying wardrobe capsules, um, which is essentially mix and matchable pieces that take you from um, work to dressed up casual to casual. So all coordinated together so you literally could take them on a trip or to a convention and have a, um, everything that you need uh, put together. So if you missed that um, Wednesday wardrobing uh, video, you can catch all of those on our YouTube channel, Fashion Crossroads Inc and just go into the, um, this series is called Maximizing Your Wardrobe Playlist, and you'll be able to find that uh, video. I usually upload those videos every Monday, so I do them live on Wednesday night, and then upload them to YouTube on the following Monday, just so you know the schedule on that. I also always write a corresponding blog post, um, which is on my Talking Trends blog, um, so that you can, after you watch the live video, if you want, you can read about it and, um, and be able to see it that way as well. So let me go ahead and share this video into our group. So that they get to see it too. Make sure you say hello when you hop on. And let me know that you're there. I always appreciate um, seeing you guys. And then um, I'm opening up my blog post. So this is what the blog post looks like on, on the blog page. And so I have pictures of um, the first basics or staples that I'm gonna talk about tonight. I've also created um, a collection on our online store at fashioncrushersinc.com. It's called Kylene's Picks. It's a weekly collection, and I have these items that I'm um, talk to, talking to you about in that collection as well. So if you see anything that you really like or you want to go in and, and see what those pieces look like a little bit more up close and personal than what you're seeing here on the live video, you can go into Kylene's Picks on fashioncarcelsinc.com and check it all out. I see somebody hopping on. Hi, Stacia. Hi, Donna. How are you guys? Okay. So first and foremost, let's define what is a closet staple. So I have four characteristics that I feel qualify something as a staple. First, they're usually always neutrals. So they're going to be like, um, if you're a cool palette, they're going to be your gray, black, white, navy. If you're a warm palette, they're going to be your chocolate browns your um, you know, good basic uh, warm browns, your creams, your tans, all of those. Those are your staples, okay? They are neutral because, they're called neutral because they pretty much pair back with lots of other colors in your color palette. Second of all, um, they are basics like leggings, slacks, skirts, collared blouses, pullover blouses. So they're generally not the super trendy item of the season. They are your basically your workhorse pieces in your wardrobe. They are your go-to pieces, the things that you use to build outfits all the time. That's another quality of a closet staple. Hey Karen and hi, oh Stacia already said hi. Um, and then third, they're almost always going to be solid in color. Because when you start to put prints in the mix, then um, your mix and matchability gets more difficult, right? Because you're having to mix colors in the print um, with your, your uh, solid item. So when we're talking basics, we're talking solids, no prints in those neutral colors and your go-to pieces that you wear all the time. And then last, um, these are defined by the very fact that they can be mixed and matched to make multiple outfits. So um, what this is really a beautiful way to start your work wardrobe. So if you are in that stage where you're transitioning from college into your professional career and suddenly your sweatpants and, and um, 
and the hoodies aren't gonna work anymore. <laughs> and you have to build a professional wardrobe, starting with closet staples is the way that I recommend starting your wardrobe. Because once you get a good base of closet staples, closet staples you can start adding in those other colors and things like that but I'm going to show you tonight how far you can go with just a few staples right so we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine pieces if you count the coat as a piece you could count that as an accessory so then one two three four accessories and I bet you we could get more than two weeks out of that amount of clothing and I'm going to show you how Oh, I forgot to grab one. That's okay. Um, so anyway, so so this is where you begin. This is how you begin a professional wardrobe. And the other place where I think this can really help you is if your closet is just filled with outfits. So like I can wear this with this and that's it. First and foremost, you need to do my closet clean out series in January. I'm going to tell you that's going to really benefit you. But second of all, switching your mentality to a wardrobe that's built from basics is really going to help you start to really utilize the pieces in your closet rather than being like, well, I can wear this outfit today and I can wear this outfit tomorrow, but these pieces only go with these two things, right? So that's what we're trying to get away from. Okay, so staples, examples of staples. So I grabbed this beautiful Simply Everyday Cardigan in the the gray color so this is your classic work cardigan it's three-quarter length it has pockets on the side it has long sleeves it's like you know your go-to it'll go over the top of anything and then the added benefit of it being the jersey it's comfortable it's not going to shrink it's not going to fade and it's packable all of which are very helpful things so that's one thing and then I also grabbed this vegan suede jacket. So it's black, it's got a little bit of style, you know, you've got the uneven hemline, you've got this kind of flowy kind of look. It's in a vegan suede, so it's a little bit different texture, um, has a little bit of trendiness, but it's still just a black jacket that you're going to be able to put over lots of different things. So those are my two jackets. Then I grabbed one tunic because you always want to make sure you have a tunic in case you're going to pair it up with a legging. So you've got your, your great classic tunic hair, V-neck. You can see these are very simple pieces. Three-quarter length sleeves. I love three-quarter length sleeves because they are year round. There is nothing about a three-quarter length sleeve that you can't wear in the summer or in the winter. So don't, you know, if you can avoid short sleeves, um, especially as you are just starting to build a wardrobe, you'll get more mileage out of your longer sleeve pieces than you will out of your shorter sleeve pieces until you can expand into those other areas. So then I grabbed a basic tee. Okay, so this is Simply's go-to tee called the go-to because it's like the perfect tee. It can be layered. It can be worn by itself. It has three-quarter length sleeves. It has a reasonably high neck, so you're not going to have issues with showing too much neck. You have vented sides, so it's going to fit and hang loose over the top of things, can be tucked in, can be belted, can be worn outside. So many options. So a good, great basic tee. And then a good, great basic tank, okay? And not a tight-fitting tank, but a loose tank, a tank that's going to hang out over things it's not going to cling across your belly it's not going to cling around your middle you can wear it uh, by itself if you can get away with that if not you can cover it up it's a great any time of year kind of piece that's that's a must in your in your basics wardrobe then i grabbed one pair of black leggings i picked our faux suede front jersey back leggings from simply just because i picked that both suede jacket and I thought the two of those together make a really cute and a little bit edgier kind of look but there's still a basic black legging. I picked the narrow pant mini in the gray so that it could go back with the gray tunic and the gray cardigan. This is just a great straight leg pant.
and then I picked one skirt and just a cute little black longer skirt. Um, you could also, if you wanted to add into this collection, you could add a little pencil skirt. That would give you two options. But if you're choosing one over the other, you're going to choose the longer skirt because you, you have more wearability with it. You can wear it um, for a longer time in the year. Okay, so just those pieces. Let's just look at all the options we have. Okay, so first and foremost, of course, you've got your option of the white under the gray jacket, either the t-shirt or the tank top. Either one is gonna be a great layering piece underneath there. You can wear that with the gray pant, which is a great little suiting outfit. If you don't need the jacket, it's still gonna look just as good paired up with just the pant. And then we're gonna talk accessories here in just a minute. So just your shirt and your pant, great little outfit. You could also um, mix your colors because you're working with white, black and gray. So you can do your black jacket, your white shirt and your gray pants. Still gonna look extremely professional. You can do your tunic over the gray pants and then either jacket over the top of that to change your look up and to add that one other piece. So there's your tunic with your, your pants. And again, we already showed the white tops and how you could mix those in. Of course, both of the white tops are also going to go underneath the black jacket as well. And then you've got your black legging, which is going to go with your gray tunic, with or without the jackets. So you can do your gray um, tunic with your black legging. And if you wanted to, you could layer that with the jacket, the cardigan both of which are long, both of which are gonna work nice, so then you've got that look, or if you wanted to, you could layer it with the black vegan suede jacket. Oops, I put the wrong one on. With the tunic, whoops, there we go. And your vegan suede legging. So you have that look as well. Then for your skirt, of course, you could do your black jacket with your white top, either the tank or the tee, and wear it with your skirt, which is gonna be very professional. You could also just do the white top with the skirt which is also gonna be a great look. So you could see just in that little capsule, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight basic pieces. You can easily get a week's worth of outfits, if not more, out of just those few pieces. Just by mixing and matching your basic closet staples to create different looks. You need a couple jackets, you need a couple tops, you need a couple bottoms, it's all, you, it's all you need. So then, when you start needing to add in your accessories, you're building on those same three colors. So a gray coat or a black coat, either way would work. And then you're, you're putting your pieces together underneath your coat and everything is going to match and look incredibly professional. So that is the beauty of this kind of wardrobing because you need one coat. It's gonna go with everything in your wardrobe. And again, this is perfect conference wear. This is perfect like traveling to Europe wear. This same concept works for that as well as building a work wardrobe. Then if you grab a couple of scarves, a couple of different scarves, Again, working with those same colors and you start pairing those up over the top of your basic pieces. That's going to change 
the look of everything again. So this is a cute little, um, one of our little Donabella shred scarves, which is a, a fabric remnants made from fabric remnants. And then I also grabbed like a more like traditional um, satiny scarf. And you can create amazing looks that are completely different with both of those scarves as well. Woohoo! I can get it wrapped around. So then you've got your great professional black and white scarf that can go back with the white, with the gray, with the black, whatever. So a couple different scarves are gonna change all of that up completely. And then if you add um, a very simple black purse, a very simple black shoe like this Mary Jane, that's gonna go with skirts, with pants, with whatever, a great classic handbag that's gonna go with all of those things, it's dressy enough to go with all of those things. You have an entire wardrobe for probably at least two weeks everything that you need. And we have invested in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen things. So that is how you maximize your closet using basics or closet staples. Okay, hey Don, how are you? Hi Karen. All right, so questions ladies. Do you have questions for me? I love dressing like this. It's easy, it's economical, it's classy, it's, um, it's, it's just, it just makes so much sense. It's a great way to travel. Um, it's just a really, really, um, I don't know, uh, smart way to do things. And then I didn't show you, but I have um, some great black leather belts that I just brought in there from um, New Amsterdam. So they're from the Netherlands. And you put a black belt in this mix, suddenly you can belt that tunic, you can belt that top. That's gonna change things up as well. One more accessory. It doesn't, you don't have to have it, but it would be a helpful accessory to have. Okay, I'm not seeing any questions. All right. So something that you guys need to know about, we have a BOGO uh, going on for gift cards this week. Um, Monday or Tuesday, next Tuesday is National Bosses Day. So um, if you have a boss that you love, uh, we have a gift card BOGO going on. So if you buy a gift card for 50, you get a free one for 10. You buy one for 75, a free one for 15. And if you buy one for 100, you get a free one for 20. So you buy your boss a gift card and you get one for free. So that's really nice. It's also a great way to start thinking ahead for Christmas as well. Um, so that's going on um, through Monday. And then I also have some cashmere in the store. So I'm wearing that tonight. So this is a cashmere sweater. I brought these in especially for our Simply VIP night, and um, I thought I would have to send them back right away, but I don't. I get to keep them through the end of this month. So this is real, the real deal, guys. This is Scotland cashmere. Um, it's gorgeous. It has all of the beautiful features of cashmere, warm but not bulky at all, and I have all of these beautiful pieces through the end of October. So if you know someone that you think would love a cashmere sweater for Christmas, this is a great way to get it. This is, this is about as nice of cashmere as you are ever gonna find. It's called Kin Ross, Kin Ross Cashmere. So that's here as well. All right, you guys, have a great night.